Welcome to the game. Welcome back, folks, to our third and final Let's Paint Rumble Slam The Masked Mayhem. This time we are painting the big guy. Um, again, we're starting with our base white. Uh, same colors as all the rest. Uh, he's just a little bigger, uh, so he'll take a, a little bit longer. Shouldn't take you too much longer. But again, uh, starting with the base white. Uh, starting with the shorts, he's got armbands. We're going to do his hair a little bit later because um, I want to get the mask on first, but we'll take you through that step by step. But I'm going to go ahead, and you've seen this before in the previous two videos, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through this real quick, and uh, we'll move on to the next color here in just a moment. All right, and our next color is going to be the snake bite leather contrast paint again to handle the belt and his boots uh, this particular model's also got gloves on his hand so we we'll want to make sure we get those to being careful not to touch the skin uh, where we don't have to but again just be careful take your time sorry he's a little off the screen there uh, but you know just go a little slow and you shouldn't have any problems make sure you've got a good tip on your brush and uh, the contrast paints, again, are wonderful. They work really well. So now that the boots have been painted, he has socks on. So the others just had boots um, and, you know, basically high top boots, boots that went up his ankle. Um, he's actually wearing socks. So uh, I wanted to get the boots done first and then come back and do the white in. So we're just filling that white in now. Okay, our next color is the Blood Angels Red Contrast Paint, again, to match the other models. Be very careful around the face and the neck. Uh, you don't want to get this on there. If you do, just go back and touch it up. Uh, I did forget to mention he is primed with the same Barbarian Flesh Tone from Army Painter Spray Paints. Uh, they make your life a whole lot easier. Uh, with that base coat down with the primer, these guys paint up relatively quickly. Uh, but again, just go all the way around the ruffle. Make sure you get into the holes. When you look straight on uh, of the ruffles, you'll see what I'm talking about, that there's little holes you'll want to get the paint into, just like right there. Um, make sure you get that all the way around. Just be gentle and take your time. All right, our next color is the black, the black Templar from Contrast as well. Um, we're going to do the mask again. Uh, get some out, put it on your palette. Um, make sure you've got a good tip on your brush or, or use a very fine tipped brush. And then just very slowly go around the mask. You can see the mask kind of bulges out so you can make it, uh, you can make out where 
you need to apply the paint. So just take your time, go slow with it. You don't want to get it all over his face because this is very difficult to touch up with the barbarian flesh. So just be careful and take your time. A uh, couple of coats if it's uh, going on a little thin for you. The palette I'm using below is just the standard Citadel paint palette. Sheets, you get a stack of, I don't know, 20 or 30 of them for like 10 bucks or 12 bucks, something like that. Um, but anything will work. Wax paper, I've seen people, I don't have a wet palette um, at the moment. Um, but it's not really necessary for the contrast paints. Okay, here I'm just going to go back and now I'm going to paint his hair. Now that that black is done um, for his mask, I'm just going to go paint his hair white, just like I've used the white on the others. Same white, no difference. We're just going to cover his hair. Alright, shining silver again to cover the belt buckle, front, back, and the knee pads. Uh, it's not going to take a whole lot. Put a little on your palette and go to work. He was actually easier to paint because the parts are a lot bigger. Um, knee pads are, there's that ridge around the knee, pad, knee pads I mentioned in the last video, which makes it very easy to get a nice round edge. You can kind of see it there in the video. do the belt buckle and silver just be very careful very gentle with it we'll do the edges and he also has a buckle in the back which you'll want to make sure that you get so don't forget about that All right, the dark tone from Army Painter. Uh, make sure you give it a good shake, put a little on your palette. You're not gonna need a whole lot. We're just gonna use this to cover the silver parts. Uh, the little bolts on his shoes, his knee pads, the belt buckles. Again, you're not gonna need a whole lot of this. All right, we're in the home stretch with the flesh wash. Uh, we're gonna use this in basically to cover all this flesh as you see in the previous videos. Uh, put a little on your palette. Don't get too much on your brush. You don't want it to splotch on there, but you do wanna cover all of the uh, barbarian flesh color all over the model. Make sure it gets down into the crevices and really brings out that muscle tone. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. I apparently forgot to record the apothecary white on all of the white. Uh, it's a light gray contrast paint, which uh, uh, I guess I just didn't hit the record button because it's I, I missed it. So um, if you just watch one of the other videos, I'll show you exactly how that's used. But apothecary white uh, on the white to give it that gray shadowed look. Uh, but for this, I tend to work in sections with the uh, flesh wash just making sure you get each section make sure it's not pulled too much um, and that way you can make sure that you've got each one covered uh, it's sometimes especially on larger models you know, if you start to put it on by the time you get back to it um, like if you're doing it on one side then you try to go back to the to the back it may have already started drying which would cause some uh, streaks dry lines things like that so if you work in smaller sections uh, and only work in the big sections when you can get it all on there so here you'll see me quickly get it onto all parts of his chest, back, uh, shoulders. Uh, that way it's it's 
wet, it's good. Then I'll kind of work it around to make sure that it gets into all the recesses. Here he is, complete, dried, and based. Um, as Again, the contrast paints work wonders. You can see the muscle tone. Um, he looks good. We're going for tabletop quality here, folks. Three feet distance. Um, Bandy looks pretty darn good uh, for a simple, quick paint job. Nothing fancy. And here we have the whole family, the masked mayhem, ready to jump in the ring and take on all comers. Um, again, it's a simple painting technique, very quick. Uh, each one, hour, hour and a half tops with dry times. Um, you know, I didn't time them, but uh, it really didn't take a whole lot. Uh, throw a movie on in the background, and I think I got you know one or two done. Uh, you know, one, one and a half done, depending on the length of the movie. Anyway, I uh, hope you learned something. Hope this helps. Please like, subscribe. It makes a big difference to the channel. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.